With a yo-ho-ho, -ho, it's Taylor the Toaster. Welcome to a special little video on the PAL packing side of things in Inazuma 11 Go Chrono Stones, Thunder Flash and Wildfire. This is just a bit of an off-the-cuff one I've decided to make. It's not planned to become a series or anything. But I just beat Protocol Omega 3.0 in the starter route and they have a very rare drop called the Dog-Eared Football Mag which you need to get Flora, who's also requiring you to have all photographs in the game. But then there's also something uh, that you can really, really get out of it. And that is a whole number of players from the original three games. There's a Pal Pack Society over in Old Ryman over here. And if you head over to the football club, then the Pal Pack Society contains absolutely loads of old players, which are all pretty easy to get as long as you have that dog-eared football mag, which is a little rarer than you'd want, but there's Jim, Todd, Steve, Max, Sam, Tim, Bobby, uh, Kevin, Willie Glass, Eric Eagle, Banyan and Tori are the only ones that took me a little bit, uh, would take me a bit more effort if I was that bothered. But there's these guys as well. But the ones I want to actually cover in this video are Jack, uh, whoa, <laughs> yeah, Jack, he's third, Sean Frost, Hurley Kane, and Axel Blaze, because all of these characters actually have exclusive meetup scenes, with ones like Sean in particular having several. I'm sure that Mark would have one if the Magnificent Trophy was more than like a 5% drop rate, which apparently also locks away Shadow, but for now, Let's get all these Pal Pack cards purchased and then we will go find these guys across the world. So first off we're going to go with Sean and his first area is in ancient France. So often these cards will have a clue on where to go, they'll tell you a general area but you don't actually know uh, where exactly they are. But fortunately Sean is in the most convenient space possible within France, you walk out the door and he's here. Hey up, me friend's up and left me and I've not got a clue where he went. I were up in mountains playing footy with him, now I can't find him anywhere. It's proper creepy here it is, I don't suppose I'll find him here. He likes the countryside, green grass and flowers and what have you, that's the kind of place he'd be in. I'd best be off to look for him then. It's half of the help anyway. I don't think I really did anything, Sean, but nevertheless, uh, if you were to check his Pal Pack card within your items, you then get the second uh, clue, which is try a park with beautiful flowers, of which there's a couple in the game. It's not the Patchwork Meadows. Um, you actually want to go to Chuga Liang's garden up here. Um, pick the right place, Tail. Yeah, so how early in the game can you actually do this quest? I'm not too sure, because uh, the dog-eared mag can be obtained from the starter route, which means it's available from Chapter 3, and then that particular match is after... He doesn't seem to be here. Hold on. Apologies for the misguidance. He is in front of the tower. Hey, up again. I had a look for me pal. But there's still no sight of him. There's no one at all around here, in fact. I don't suppose there's anything to eat. Maybe he's feeling peckish? He does like scrounging around them fancy eateries. Hmm. Oh no. I hope he's not ended up so hungry he's attacked someone to get his paws on their food. I'd best hurry. Ta though. And off he goes again. Who exactly is Sean Frost's friend? I have no idea, but if we go to King Arthur's castle, maybe we'll be a bit closer to finding out. Um, what I was saying before, yeah, so Protocol Omega 3.0, you take them on in the French chapter, so I guess from chapter 6, you can at least start to get the necessary items. Whether there's other obstacles along the way, I'm not sure, but with how rare these item drops are, you know, I didn't really do any pal packing until the post game anyway, and I imagine that's the case for many. Now we want to head to Arthur's castle, and you will find Sean looking for his friend again, roughly on the pitch. I'm so curious, like, I've not read the, 
read these messages before. I've looked at where to go, but I don't know anything about what Sean's saying. Hey up, how do? I'm still on the hunt for me friend, would you believe it? Plenty of warriors in these parts, sure, but I haven't caught sight of him. He's so big and grisly, they'd probably try and attack him on sight. Hey, there's a thought. What if he's hiding away from human company, staying with other creatures like? I'll have to make sure. Ta-ra for now. Hey man, that's my outro. <laughs> um, yeah, grizzly. I'm starting to get the picture now. And now that he's uh, among other beasts, this is your clue that you need to look in the Cretaceous era. And I've heard this one's particularly sneaky. Now that we're in Big Beast Valley, you can just slightly see him in the bottom left corner of the screen. So this is the same sneaky place where some hidden items were when we visited this in the main story. That is a passageway there, would you believe it? There's even a dinosaur to talk to. There would be items right by this cliffside. There's even a parallel stone, which for reference's sake just contains a couple of costumes. I wish they didn't take so long to load because I was only showing it for the sake of example. Um, yeah, Goldie, Sky, Jade, etc. Let's talk to Sean now. By heck, this is no place for a bear, is it? He'd be by the bottom of the food chain round here. Oh, didn't I say? He's a bear. They call him the old man of the mountain. He can be a bit temperamental, but he's a good lad, really. But yeah, I'm beginning to think he's just gone back to his usual spot on the mountain. Guess I should head back. Um, that is, if I knew how. Eh? You'll take me back to me own time? Really? Oh, that'd be smashing. Ta very much. Hey, do you mind if I join your team? I don't mind what position you put me in. You don't mind? Fantastic. I'll do me very best. Well, how did you time travel to these places in the first place then, Sean? You've time traveled at least four times. But nevertheless, we can now redeem his Palpat card, having done that entire hunt around history. First time I've ever seen it, and I loved it. More Sean Frost dialogue always makes me happy. Um, so he will count as a forward. He's got Eternal Blizzard. He's got Land of Ice. Stuff like that. We'll look at the players at the end. For now, we need to go and look for Hurley Kane. Now, we really didn't have far to go. Um, it's almost like I planned this out in advance. I, uh, I really didn't. But uh, also within Big Beast Valley, we get to start the Hurley Kane quest as we find him on this bridge. Hey, dude, are you here to ride the waves? Gnarly. I've been looking for a truly bodacious surf spot, but it's like I'm always in the wrong place at the wrong time or something. Huh? Yeah, I get that it's a river. Hey, if you can't take the heat, stay out of the kitchen, man. Or like, the river. Uh, but yeah, I guess an ocean would be pretty good too. And there's like this bird here that keeps screeching. Really cramps my style. I want to hear that ocean breeze again, you know? Ah, I can almost hear it now. Shh, shh. That does it. I'm moving on to greener pastures, gnarlier waters, whatever. Catch you around. So where are these gnarlier waters exactly? Well, according to his Palpat card, he's at a very quiet harbour. Yes, Hurley Kane has gone all the way to Sanctum for a surfing spot. Hey dude, how's it going? I've already aced the waves around this place. Honestly, it's kind of left me craving for more. I figure I should go somewhere exotic, like Europe. What do you think? Sounds like a plan, yeah? Sweet, I'm going to jet off first thing in the morning. He's going to Europe, and well, unless you count Camelot, this game only has one European chapter. So that means we need to head to France, and we will be travelling traveling to Orléans on the bridge. Now, what's inspired me just briefly to make this video is that 
I've been going through the starter route to try and get all of its items, and I've found that every team from Go 1, its captains all have a unique recruitment scene. Uh, like, Dodge has one with a big grammar example, for example. For, uh, what am I saying? And, uh, yeah, all like Davy Jones and all the other captains, and I've either been releasing or I'm about to release some of those that are recorded on my phone on Twitter, but these Ryman characters deserve the proper recording. Hey, listen to this. So I was totally sure this was the ocean and I could finally get my wave on. But it turns out this is just a big river. All rivers lead to the ocean, so I guess I could follow it down, but I don't know, man. Seems stupid to spend all that time trying. Maybe I'm just trying too hard. There's never been anywhere better than my usual spot. Go figure, huh? Look out, waves! The wave miser's coming home! Woohoo! And you know, it was like a canon plot point in Chrono Stones that if uh, you lost to Xanax Protocol Omega 3, they would throw you into that river. Funny how they actually had the item I needed to get Hurley Kane in the first place. His usual spot is, of course, the bodacious beach in his hometown of Okinawa, where we met him for the first time. Hey, dude! Your epic odyssey took you back full circle, too? Oh yeah! These waves are radical cubed! Sun, sea, sand, you just can't beat Okinawa! Hey, you know how we're always checking out the same surf spots? That's more than just coincidence, dude! It's totally fate! We were born to meet, so let's hang out more often! I mean, if there's a wave, you gotta ride it, right? Well, surf's up! And that means we can now add Hurley Kane to our team. Uh, I'm not too sure on his on his moves. He will have the Typhoon, that's definitely in this game. He doesn't get Tsunami Boost, sadly, as far as I'm aware. But um, once again, we'll look at the players all at the end. Our next journey is going to be looking for Jack Wallside. Let me guess, he's, <laughs> he's going to find some loo in some school to be hiding in. Somewhere in old Inazuma town, and they and he's hungry. Well, I can only think of one place that could be. Just don't make the mistake of going to Rai Rai Noodles in the present. He's here where Rai Rai Noodles would be in the past. Ooh, really hungry. I don't feel up to going to the pitch. Hey, you look like you might know where I might get something to eat, right? Or maybe you could go and fetch something for me. You know, something to fill me up. For example, well, you know, something on a stick. Something filling and smothered in sauce, if you know what I mean. Thanks! So we actually have to bring him something, do we? Oh! Dumplings on a stick! Delicious! So we do actually have to hand over one of our held items. You should probably have one of these already. If you don't, uh, I don't know where to get them from, but... Thanks very much! Oh, delicious! This is my first time I've ever had such tasty dumplings! Where did you get these? Oh, thanks ever so much! And yet we, we lose the item, and he's also still here. I'm feeling a bit thirsty. I'd quite like a drink now. After a meal, it's nice to have something strong and black. But with milk, of course. Please? Now what have we got? Oh, a milky coffee. That smells great. This is just what I needed. Oh well, bottoms up. Oh, oh, ah, that's better. Thanks very much. We're not going to have to do a great deal of traveling, are we? Yes, I'm sure the locations of these items will probably be in the description. But I just happen to have them all. So he wants some star-shaped sweet. Are they sugar candies? Thank you! There are loads in this bag! I'll have to share them with the others! But I'll have a quick taste first. I'm not making that sound. Stop it! <laughs> oh no! They're all gone! How did that happen? Uh, please don't tell anyone from Ryman about this! Oh, it's getting a bit chilly. <laughs> He's just not stopping, is he? I'd like something hot to warm me up. Maybe some, uh, some radish, carrots, potatoes and stuff. 
cook traditional style in a kind of soup. Mm, just thinking about it makes my mouth water. I want some. Oh, that smell. Can it be? Can it be what? I, I don't even know, but they're delicious and really warm and filling. Oh, now I'm really full. I've never felt so full. I'm feeling really strong and full of energy. I bet I could really put on a performance on the pitch now. No, I don't want... My voice is going. Just one last request. Would you let me be on your team? Give me a shout when you need me. Uh -huh. Jack usually just has little one-off lines here and there in previous Let's Plays. I've never had to voice him that much in one go. That was brutal. <laughs> But let's get Axel. I'm gonna guess he's at the tower. Ah. Apparently not. I guess that's where you meet Mark instead in that thing we can't do because the trophy's so rare. Hmm? Who are you? What do you want? I'm in a hurry. There's someone I have to see at the hospital. We'll have to talk some other time. Sorry. And you have all you need to recruit Axel. Are you sure? He didn't sound so keen. <laughs> In fact, he sounded like he wanted to do anything else. Uh, you need the giant hibiscus, by the way, which is a football battle recruit item from the Okinawa area, if you want to make this one work, because we don't go on a chase for Axel. He just happens to be in Ryman in the old days. I'm guessing Mark would either be in the club room or in the tower. But there we go. So that's the four little journeys. Again, I don't think there's going to be any other Pal Pack videos quite like this. But you never know uh, quite for sure. Again, the, the Go One team captains I've mostly been releasing on Twitter as little poorly recorded videos rather than uh, making a full video out of it like this because I didn't realise quite how many I was going to get. Axel actually has a fighting spirit in Surtur, and he gets Fire Tornado, he gets Fireball Screw. He's got pretty much everything you could ask for, and obviously Surtur has Fireball Storm as well, so most of his moveset is represented. He's only missing like Grand Fire or Maximum Fire if you, we if you really want to go digging. Uh, of course, Jack has the wall. So, great to add those players to my team. Funny that Axel appears only a little bit south of his own Pal Pack uh, recruitment society. But yeah, the dog-eared mag may be a little too hard to get, but at the end of the day, the rewards you get for it are so good. You can also recruit the managers if you uh, go to the competition room on screen and beat a team called the managers to get the busybody towel as a drop. But look forward to more details like that in the actual uh, competition routes overview. For now, Jack Wallside has murdered my voice and I've got to go. So see you later. But wait, there's more because as I'm sure you could tell from the title and the description and everything, I am now recording at a later point in time, about two or three weeks later because after grinding the Inazuma Legend National match repeatedly in competition routes on like the 6th or 7th try, I finally got the Magnificent Trophy. So I have no idea if the adult members of Inazuma have their own recruitment scenes, I will have to find that one out. But for now, we can get young Mark Evans. So for that, we want to head to the tower. Oh, hello. You're Harry and Sherwind, right? Did you come here for the view too? I love this tower. You can see the whole town from the top. Me and my granddad used to come up here and climb it all the time. Anytime I had a problem, he'd always be there to help. Ah, that was a good rest. Well, I've got to get back to training now. I'll see you later. And there he goes. When you actually teleport to the tower, it pushes you out of the way by default because you spawn on top of Mark <laughs> and it, it can't have two people in the same space. Uh, good, I don't have to dismiss anyone. Let's add Mark and that means I can also potentially go and get his adult form. 
as well but if they have their own scenes that will definitely be its own video and if they don't have their own scenes it won't be a video <laughs> but for now we've got all the big members of Ryman except for Jude but we're gonna fix that right now over by the Inazuma Tower there is a separate Palpak Society that has the nostalgic song as its palpacking item. This is similarly rare. It's dropped by Team Blast in uh, Mr. Winterseas route, and it could be as low as 5% as a drop rate, but somehow I've actually pulled it off. So I've already recruited Caleb Stonewall, David Samford, and Aphrodite. They do not have conversations for joining the team, but Jude does. So we are gonna go find him over at the park and then this video will finally probably be over watch me get flags of the world and find some more after this but um here he is don't you know it's rude to stare at people like that what i reminded you of someone i know hmm i'll let you off this time anyway i don't have time for this we're playing a friendly match at royal today and it's well overdue there's no way i can be late I don't care if it's urgent, I really have to go. Speak to me some other time, if you must. Well, what were you doing in the park then? <laughs> oh well, Jude is absolutely insistent that we cannot talk to him, but he will be joining our team. So, this was more players in this video than I expected, but I will now end the video as we send us to the end slate looking at the stats of the players involved. Thanks for watching.